Hi friends, so I purchased this ELP 1080p megapixel industrial mini camera, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this camera came in. It is not a PoE camera and it's not very easy to, to configure. So I wanted to just put together a little video to help others who may buy this camera because it's only $38 and that's a pretty good price and it comes with a 12 volt power supply. So what you get in the package is this. It, it looks just like that. Um, there's also a power supply in here um, and that's not shown in the pictures. So when you install it, it when you first turn it on, it's gonna come up as 192.168.1.10. And the interface is kind of crappy so you can't do anything with it. Um, I do not like to put little mini DVDs from China in my computer because I may get more than I bargained for. So you can go to this website, which is listed in the instructions that come with it. It's, it and, um, you know, again, it's, it's right here. It's pan.sohu.net and then a bunch of crap. Um, and, and I'm sorry, there's just no nice way to say all this because this is a lot of stuff. Um, so once you're there, you can download this, which will install this application here. And this application is not going to win any awards for being easy to use. <clears throat> so let me show you how to use it. Click device manager. You're not going to have any zones. So let's just remove that and you need to add a zone. And this is basically a bucket for the cameras. So go ahead and click add area, give it a name. So that's what goes here home or my zone. It really doesn't matter. And click on it, then click add device and click IP search. This will find the cameras that you have on your network. All right. Now this is not where you configure it. You click edit device. So I'm going to make this camera 213. And I'm going to leave everything else the way it is. So it says the save, save was successful. Let's click IP search. And that's pretty much all I need to do in order to configure it. I will finish the configuration in Blue Iris. And for a number of reasons, I'm not going to show my Blue Iris configuration. But um, hopefully this will help somebody who is trying to make sense out of this camera and get it to do something. So once you have it, you can then navigate to it and it's just, you know, admin and nothing, no password. So that'll let you logged in. And I don't think the plugin is going to work in Chrome and I'm not going to install a Chinese plugin in my web browser because that's just begging for trouble. Um, so I think this has just crashed. Um, so, you know, this is not well written software, but it, it changed the IP address. That's what matters. Um, so. At this point, I think we've added the device and we'll just do a connection test. Yep, it's working. And I think it will show up in here. So we'll click modify. We really want it to be ONVIF. Um, and the reason we want it to be ONVIF is, uh, okay, so unknow error. So we'll, we'll find it again and see if we can edit it. Yeah, th this software just sucks. So um, use it to set the IP address and then I wouldn't recommend doing anything else with the software because it just sucks. Um, so that's all there is to it. I hope this saves you some frustration and some searching and I appreciate you watching my video.